All right, so it's Scott, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about poodles and large dogs and uh, dissuade you. Let them out. It's the Poodle Mobile. So we have three large standard poodles. That's uh, that's little baby Rhonda, and then we have Su who Rhonda's three years old, and Susie is seven years old. And we're gonna take them for a little walk here in beautiful Sun Valley. Let me take the camera off of me and focus on the poodles. So I'm decided to do a string of instructional videos on things you should know about standard poodles. And uh, a lot of people think standard poodles are foo-foo dogs. Talk about the nest how they like to hike. A lot of people think that they don't like to hike or play. Obviously, they're showing off for us here now. So you can play. Obviously, they're showing off for us here now. So you can see how they really enjoy playing. Um, a lot of people get um, a labradoodle or a golden doodle because they, frankly, a lot of guys don't want to own a poodle because they're not considered um, sporting dog enough or foo-foo enough. So nothing could be further from the truth. That's little baby Rhonda's three. Susie back there is seven. And Princess Chloe is over 14 which is poodles usually live between 12 and 14 years. Um, she is outlasting the odds by a long shot. So for those of you interested in getting a Labrador or Golden Poodle, I highly encourage you to watch this video and the series that I'm going to be doing along these lines. This is information about standard poodles in particular, poodles in general, and uh, what it takes to love and take care of one and understanding as much as you can about them. So th the uh, topic primarily of this is how much exercise they need. Um, if you are not willing to exercise your poodle, um, don't get one. They require a lot of exercise. And fortunately, we live in paradise and it keeps us exercise. So you can see, yeah, we have too much snow. Otherwise we would go off trail. Um, you can see, I won't give them some privacy. You can see how athletic they are. And um, they also, a lot of people said they're concerned about them, you know, walking in, in snow, whether, you know, that is something that is advisable now if you're having they do require a lot of grooming and we're going to do a separate episode about grooming your poodle and how much it costs and you know how often you need to do that but this video is going to start with how to exercise your poodle how much exercise they need um, and when to exercise them and making sure that they stay in good shape. If you don't exercise them, just like a person, they're gonna get fat and unhealthy, and uh, we're gonna do separate videos on how to feed them, you know, what we use to feed them, and, uh, and the like. But, uh, so a few things, a lot of people use, um, uh, like, boots when the snow is really sticky, so the snow doesn't get in their, in their paws, it gets uncomfortable. So you can do that. We actually recommend a company called Roughwear uh, that makes great boots for them um, that stay on and they don't terribly mind. But for the most part, we haven't needed them. If you have, yeah, we have really dry snow here. And again, look at that, Chloe, 14 years old and uh, still running and acting like uh, a puppy. So we we exercise them. What would you say? Uh, at least an hour a day. And um, and uh, we'll go for walks, ranging from 
at least two miles a day, but up to up to 10, 12 miles a day and, and on the weekends were our time. So I don't think that you necessarily need to go for 12 mile hikes every single day, but it would probably do you some good. Uh, you know, this is my wife, Laura. Um, it is cold in the sun here or out in the shade, cold in the shade. Um, so I think if you get them at least one hour of outside, you know, free running time, they should be fine. More is good. And yeah, they don't need. You could do like a twenty, even I think twenty minutes in the morning, twenty minutes in the afternoon. You know, consider it. Uh, you know, as, as their age and their health. But they do require uh, exercise. Oh, absolutely. If you're not willing to exercise them and yourself, then you shouldn't get one. They're not inside dogs. Um, uh, having said that, they you should not leave them outside. <laughs> Yeah, uh, these are for mature, mature dogs. I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you can let them run off leash, we're really fortunate that where we live. Come on, Hey, come on! They're showing off for the camera. They're really playful. Poodles were circus animals, so they're kind of clowns. Um, so they, they like to play rough, you know, um, as you can see. And they like what? They like to pounce. Yeah, sometimes people look and they're like, oh, but your dog's attacking. It's like, no, they pounce. Yeah. They watch them like that. That's how they play. Them. Yeah. And dogs know other dogs. Yeah, so. The people. Dogs are never afraid of yeah. the people. Yeah. Like, oh. And then they'll step back and be like, oh, they're having fun. But yeah, that's how they play. So, um, so don't worry, you know, I, I don't, you don't have to put jackets or winter clothing on them. You know, that's what their fur is for. Hair. Hair, which is, uh, so if you're thinking about getting a Labradoodle or a Golden Doodle, I would ask yourself to rethink that and decide what it is about the poodle that you don't like and why you want to add the, the Labrador or whatever it is. And I'm going to suggest that more than likely it's the name poodle <laughs> that you don't like. And there's a male involved with a little masculinity and doesn't want to, to own a poodle. Uh, but yes. They're historically, and we're going to do separate videos on the history of poodles um, as well, but I'll touch on it here. They were, they're originally a hunting dog. Poodle is a, not even French. It's a, they're German. Poodle stands for puddle. And they're, they're water dogs, and their foo-foo haircuts are, are, are with purpose. They're to keep... Uh, look at them. It's to keep um, their joints warm. Uh, in water. Look at Chloe. So, again, I'm excited about bringing this information about poodles to you. Um, and we're going to do a whole list of re related topics and some that's just going to be a walk with us. Um, this is primarily intended for my YouTube channel. Yay, Margo! Oh and uh, for those of you who don't know who Margo is or was, she was our 14 year old blind and deaf standard poodle who could do anything. And part of it was because she exercised every day of her life. Right. So when she got sick, she had a really strong base to get better. So doing stuff. that's exactly right. And, and, and the same holds true with people. And you know, in our case, we view opportunities to exercise with them as an opportunity for us to stay healthy and that if they're staying healthy that means we're staying healthy too so um what else do we want to talk about the exercise and 
Oh, look at them. I mean, I could just watch them for... Oh, did you see Chloe? Oh, my God. I can tell you, if you exercise them, you have a chance of having them live long and healthy lives like Chloe has and Margo. So if you're not willing to to give your poodle exercise, you know, I would think about getting a, a smaller, uh, less active dog. Um, having said that, there are plenty of people that, that have standard poodles um, that don't exercise them a lot. I don't think it's fair to the dog. And our toy poodle used to climb balls. Yeah. I think for all people of all ages and all sizes and all animals, you know, a certain amount of exercise, oh. She, she's gonna. This is what you call invisible mode. So she's waiting for. Oh, she doesn't usually attack Chloe. That must mean that she knows Chloe is doing well. If you watch yesterday's video, she that laser did did help. So this is also a follow up to the video we did on laser therapy. Uh, yeah, if you look at the the video that preceded this. Chloe had laser therapy and, uh, you know, she is noticeably more active. Yeah, she feels really good. I, yeah. I, I was not a real fan of it, to be honest with you. I thought it was a waste of money and, and kind of foo-foo, but... <laughs> Look at her! I mean... I know. I mean, that's... It's, it's immediate. Because over the weekend, I noticed she was a little stiff. Look at them. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, Chloe is 14 and a quarter, and Rhonda's three. And and they do everything together. I found it really interesting that for the first time in the longest time, Susie was playing invisible mode with Chloe. They have a, a sixth sense. They know... Because usually Susie wouldn't pounce on Chloe because I think she realizes that Chloe was older and tired and whatnot. So, um, stay tuned and subscribe and like uh, the YouTube channel. Share it with the, your friends that are thinking about getting a standard poodle or any other larger dog. A lot of this information is, is, is the same for, for lots of dogs. Look at her. Um, and, uh, you know, if you have any topics that you'd like, put them in the comment section. You know, we're going to be doing how we feed them, how we deal with... And we're going to look into the raw diets like, because uh, a couple of breeders have been looking at it, use raw diets, and I need to learn more about it. Really? Yeah. And I, said, I thought you were not into that before. No, but we give them raw bones from Idahound, and Idahound does do raw Well, diets. if you think about it, it makes sense. I mean, you know, the historic... Yeah, yeah so there's going to be future topics on the history of poodles and how, the, how we selected them, the various colors, various sizes, a whole bunch of times. You know, so you're thinking about getting a Labradoodle, this is why, why you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> We call them the uh, the gateway drug to poodles. <laughs> so, um, my name is, uh, hold on. <laughs> my name is Scott Jordan, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Yay Margo. Yay Margo. And that is my wife, Laura. Yay Margo. And she's the co-founder and president of Yay Margo, which means that she's in charge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and... Uh, I just want to thank each of you for watching our channel, and uh, please subscribe and tell your friends. Bye-bye.